What's going on, everybody? Um, you know, <clears throat> uh, this is my um, Eagles vs. Giants Week Eight preview. Uh, if I start slouching, uh, I'm just I'm really dead tired right now. So if I start slouching, forgive me, you know. So um, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna start off with this. Um, I I believe this is a game we lose our streak. We lose our, our our home game losing streak. Uh, I don't think it's any time sooner or later. Uh, so I said it's a game. I, I I think this is our game. Um, I say it's our game because you know we Philly has had its players for killing certain teams like Brian Dawkins. He could kill you any he could kill any team he wanted, but for us Brian Dawkins was. The cowboy killer, with the Eagles he was. He was not only Weapon X, but Brian Dawkins was the cowboy killer. So, and Michael Vick for us has been the giant killer, the Giants killer. Either way, Giants, giant killer, I don't care, giant killer. Uh, Michael Vick, <clears throat> his hamstring is not 100%, so it's not like he's really going to go nowhere at full speed or take off. Like all fast, so I think this is our game. I think we take this game. You know the Giants aren't going to lie down. They're not going to lay down because they're in Philly. Um, <laughs> Ethan puts it for five me points that we in Philly used to be the most feared. They were the most feared, and what happened? We lost the man. I blame the management for it. I blame the management. We had a chance to keep Dawkins here. They didn't want to offer him the money. Uh, the things just fell apart. It kept falling apart. After that, we got Santi Sammy. He was good for us. We were good getting pick sixes and stuff like that and intercepting the ball, but he he couldn't tackle for war for, war for flip. So, yeah. So, Philly has not been the most feared in a while. They've been the worst feared since when at the beginning of the link when it first opened and the vet. Before that, I don't know if Connie Mack was a football stadium. I think that was for the Phillies, but I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, and before that, they were feared, man. They were feared. They weren't winners, but they were feared. Like, like, oh, you know, these guys are stupid. So, but at the same time, I don't want to get my head knocked off or taken off and get hurt by these guys. These guys will hurt you, even though they're not that talented. So, yeah. But this is a new group. They're talented, but the defense is on the side is not that talented. The Sean McCoy will run, will run, will haul ass on them all this game. Uh, Vic will have a good game. I, I can believe it. All I'll protect, protect the quarterback, man. I don't know what the hell Foles is doing, but he is definitely not the answer. And, um, and before I continue with this video... I got a, I got a thing I want to say about the um, drafting the quarterback. I think there's a clean way we can get a quarterback, but I don't think pulling off an RG3 trade is the way to do it. When I say RG3 trade, I don't think giving up four four of your next first year first rounders and this year's second rounder is the answer. I don't think that method is an option. But at the same time, you want to keep your team's talent intact, but at the same time, you want to get better. You don't want to. Like that trade killed the Redskins after this year. It's killing them this year. It helped them that first year, but I guess because it got a new quarterback, like, nobody got tape on the man except his college tape. So that's all your tape you're gonna have on the man. Like Yezu was a pre coming from the um low little um not low leagues, but um you know the minor leagues to the MLB and killing it for the Dodgers, like that for an example. But you know I'm expecting Vic to have a good game. The Sean McCoy's gonna have a good game. Deshaun Jackson always has a good game against the Giants. There's not one Giants game I've seen where he's been shut down, especially at that miracle at the Meadowlands. Uh, this defense will be all right, I guess. They'll be a, they'll be all right. They'll be all right. <laughs> they'll be all right. So, uh, the defense will be all right, but they shouldn't get torched like that. This defense is always prone to getting torched. And that's the only problem with this defense is they're prone to getting torched. So I won't be mad or surprised if they got torched. So all in all, that's that. Peace out.